New World Season 2 PTR has got some updated patch notes, but it's actually something that Chad has posted on the Discord that I think is most interesting that's going to affect the market and maybe how you progress with your chosen ward gear. So let me jump in and let me show you. By the way, I'm very much aware of this giant spot on the side of my eye. It's not like I've missed it. Also, I'm sort of trying to get partner on Twitch, so come up on me over there. Okay, so this is the post here by Chardis, and it's talking about the hatchery reward. So the season trial, the 10-man season trial, and what rewards you're going to get. Now you can see that the Corsica Banded set has had its uh, perks changed. They've replaced Freedom with Human Ward. Skull is replaced Invigorated with Human Ward. And Horde Master is replaced Invigorated with Human Ward. To give you an example of that set, you can see here this is the Corsica Bandit Shoulders. So Freedom is going to actually be replaced with Human Ward. And that's going to make these pieces sort of a bit better, right? Without Ward, these pieces are generally, let's face it, a bit junk. Because it's neither good in PvP nor good in PvE. We'll talk about how frequently you can get these in a moment. For the Horde Master set, Invigorated is actually replaced with Human Ward. So Refreshing, Shirking Fort, Human Ward, Heavy Piece. Yeah, it's alright, it's heavy, that might be not the ideal situation for you. But if you want some heavy bits, that's going to be reasonable. The Corsica Bandit set is light with Con, which means that the five Con warriors out there might not be that interested. However, worth noting, you can actually change the stats on these. There's, um, I forgot exactly the name of the item that drops in the hatchery trial, but if it drops for you, you can then go ahead and craft something that lets you change the stats on these. So whilst this is light, you will be able to change it to strength or dex, whatever you like. So that's very interesting and very good. And to round things off, you have a medium set as well. As I said, in this case, Invigorate is going to be changed to Human Ward. Very nice. And remember, you can change the stat on these. That's so important. That makes these very, very decent Human Ward gear if you can get this done. So we might actually be able to start running M10 MP Room Forge with a little bit more ease. I'm assuming that Ward is going to get changed in the expansion to some extent. I don't know exactly what's going to go on there, but it might be worth just picking these up just in case. But how often can you get them? Well, we'll talk about that in a moment. But just before we go on to an important bit, a couple of the other sets here, so the Oasis Grave Robber, Waterseeker Wanderer and Warmonger, they are basically having a Bane perk added to their pool as being the first perk and they're only going to drop as purples. Now I think that the Bane and the Ward though is going to be random, I don't think it's going to be Human Ward because otherwise it would have said, but that makes them a lot more useful, as in if they don't have Resilient or Ward, they're pretty much pointless. So very, very interesting stuff there. But it's actually the next bit that gets me more intrigued because it's they're adding a 15% chance to get a Golden Scarab from the bonus box you also get a bit of adventure which is fine but i think it's this golden scarab 15 percent chance that's very good how often do you get this bonus box well i believe that to be effectively the daily bonus box which actually i think probably should be called the weekly bonus box so what i believe they're talking about here is the hatchery spoils and the fact that this is like a bonus thing that you only get if you are not over the cap now the drop quantity limit here is seven because you can do this up to seven times per week so basically you could do all seven in one day or you can do it once per day or anything in between okay two on one day three on the next two on the next perfectly fine perfectly reasonable and that then is basically how you're going to get these golden scarabs and i think that basically means the price of golden scarabs probably going to significantly go down that could be huge in the market obviously we've no idea what's going to be happening when we hit the expansion i don't know if golden scarabs are going to be useful useless or what have you but for now that's going to be interesting if i was hoarding golden scarabs i would be selling right now right here get online get them sold and then finally in this notes they're actually increasing the amount of procedural gear awarded from the normal run from two to six now i think the normal run is because what they mean is that there's a solo version that you can do when you do the season quest i've done it it's nothing like that crazy it's pretty much like the normal one except one boss is removed i think perfectly reasonable perfectly enjoyable makes sense as a solo option to the quest fine that's all good interestingly there's also another sort of solo trial i don't think it's repeatable in any meaningful way but there's a bit in it which i'm convinced might become a meme because it was very funny when i was on the stream and um, if i can remember i'll play it now Now, there has been a couple of extra things added to the PTR. I don't think this is all that interesting. Up until we get the Outpost Rush um, Cross Realm, which is supposedly coming this week, which, if I'm honest, might be very late Friday, and I think they're going to have to do an event to test it anyway. But yeah, this patch, like, it doesn't really tell you that much. There's not really that much interesting in here. They are increasing the amount of Umbul Shards you get from the Worm Kill. They do actually mention the stuff that was on Discord. If I'm honest, 
I completely missed this the first time around. In fact, I'm not sure this was there when I checked on my phone. Either way, it's here now, it just does the same thing. Pretty much just some basic fixes, nothing crazy. For you lore nerds out there, which is completely fine, it's just not me, the Sandworm Devourer Heart Rune Secrets has been posted. I'll put a link to this. If you're interested in it, you're interested in it. If you're like me, then, you know, I'll just wait till it's told in game. I'm not going to be viewing that. All around, not like massive changes to the game or anything there, but it's interesting that they're making the hatch rewards a lot better. I wonder if they'll do the same for the worm. A lot of that gear is sort of in the same camp where it's not really good at anything. There's some interesting items in there for sure, but not all of it is really like bis or anything like that. Hopefully they can take a pass over that and make that a little bit better as well. Some people have speculated that the lack of ward or resilient is sort of hinting at what might be coming in the expansion. I have no idea if that's the case. But I really like the fact that they're doing these kind of changes. I think the Golden Skyler thing, whilst it seems really subtle, might actually be quite big. As ever, big shout out to my YouTube members. If you want to support me in the short term, though, following me on Twitch is probably actually the best way to support me. As I said, if I can get partnered, then, you know, I'll be partnered and everything will be cool. And I'll buy my wife like a celebratory McDonald's. I'm going to go see if I can find anything to like put on this thing. Otherwise, I'm growing a second head. Either way, let me know what your thoughts are about these changes. I think they're quite good. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, though. What you should definitely, definitely do is have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. It's definitely a beautiful day outside. It's very, very hot.